This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is the Ramble, and I'm Alex Bennett, and we go until midnight tonight. And here I am after about, uh, well, let's see, first we took a week off because I was sick. Wait a minute, hold on a second, I have to go, I didn't close the door, and if, if I don't close the door, and Marjorie comes in here and yells at me, you woke me up. Anyway, I was off for a week. And then I was off for another week. And then I was off for another two days. And here I am, okay? So we'll, we'll get into all of that and why and how and uh, all, the, uh, all the stuff that went on. Let me, uh, let me bring in, let me see here. Let me admit Phil here. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Then I uh, push the button here. Wait a minute, let's see first if he's got a picture. We got a picture, Phil? Coming. Ah, there we go. There he is. Hello there, Phil. Hey, um, uh, I, you know, we just fooled everybody. It's Tuesday, isn't it? No, no. Actually, I'm going to do next week. I'm going to do another just only two days for the week because I'm yeah. I've been exhausted. This thing, whole thing is, is exhausted me. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, you know, uh, it, it it it's very difficult to come in here and do a show when you're kind of like. You know, see, here it is, folks. This is what's left of it. Actually, Phil saw me the other day because we had a call together. And uh, tell him what I look like. Uh, well, the uh, the one eye that's a little darker was a little more black and blue. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, considering that you just got done with an operation, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I thought you looked fine. And, really? uh, you know. Skin's elastic. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to uh, uh, to retract. Yeah. Well, it it uh, uh, inflammation. Let me, let me turn on the air conditioner here. I I don't know why uh, the fan isn't just enough, but it gets very hot in here. Hold yeah. On. You know, I, there's a lot of inflammation that happens from an operation. Yeah, well, the, what happened was, in case people don't know, I I if I may look size. Huh? Look at her eyes there. Yeah. You know. These are very, very expensive eyes now. Uh, <laughs> what happened was I had what was called ptosis, I guess. That's how it's pronounced. Ptosis. Ptosis. And, Didn't and, Bill Clinton have that? Huh? Didn't Bill Clinton have that? No, 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 no. He had an, er he had an erection. Anyway, um, a ptosis is like your lids as you get older they lose elasticity and they come down and they come down and they come down and what was happening is my lids were down about halfway across my pupils so yeah. that for me to see something watch tv i'd have to go like this right you know i wasn't getting like the whole pic i mean i'm getting a whole view now yeah. um i went to my doctor yesterday and he said well we might have to go in and redo this eye what? Well, a little bit because he doesn't like the symmetry. Now it looks okay to me. Well, you give a shit about symmetry? It, it, well, here's what I'm thinking. I didn't. Yeah. He said for four thousand bucks, uh, I could have the bags removed because that's cosmetic, not surgical, and therefore uh, it isn't paid for by by um, Medicare. The, uh, I, the thought, I thing was. I thought you were going to do that anyway when you had this done. No, 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 because I, I'm just thinking 4000 bucks. Gee, I don't know. You know, I mean, how much longer am I going to live? And do I mind having these bags under my eyes? You know, it gives I me a little character. Huh? I know how to fix it. Well, how's that? Uh, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, so the deal was, the deal was that... Um, uh, he for a thousand for four thousand dollars he could do this. I decided not to. Now I'm beginning to think, well, maybe I should have. And now that he has to maybe go back in and do this eye a little more, which is covered by Medicare, 
mm-hmm. I could probably get that four thousand dollar deal to do the bags while he's there. Now, uh, Medicare is not going to say, "Well, look, you know, symmetry is not uh, is, is cosmetic." No, 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 no. This is a medical condition. Yeah. In which, if it kept progressing, I might be find it hard to see. I see. Okay, so it needs to be taken care of, and it's covered by Medicare. Nice. That's why my doctor wants to go in and do this one a little more again. Uh, uh, this one? Yeah, this one. A little more again. Uh, so, hmm? have you ever tried, uh, what, what are those things like Preparation H? You put it underneath no, your eye? Uh, who cares? Don't I look more awake now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And by the way, a lot of this is going to go away, too, because this is still bruising here, you see. That's yeah. still bruising. That's still swelling. Once that goes away, uh, probably this will go down about uh, about a third or something like that. But yeah. Well, you know, I mean, at your age or my age, I've got bags under my eyes, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, it, it, I, I don't – look, I – what, why do I need to look good? I'm going to get laid? I can't get an erection for crying out loud. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I understand. You know, this prostate... That stuff. bothers me more than anything else, okay, is that I'd like to get a good, sturdy erection. It would just make me feel good. Yeah, well, you know, hey, we both had good runs. Yeah, they, be- they beat up on my prostate really good. Yeah. By uh, there a bunch of little seeds in there. I once said to my doctor, my urologist, I said, you're up there putting your finger up there. Can't you cut yourself on those seeds? And he says, no, because I'm only touching through the skin. I'm not touching the actual prostate. And I never knew that. So, yeah, so well, then the skin. See my look of astonishment now? I can do a look of astonishment. <laughs> you look like Tucker Carlson when he's well, listening. Let, to yeah, let me tell you about this operation. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, I... I, we have a woman who writes me all the time. Her name is Louise Zeitlin. She had the same thing. Then sent me pictures of herself right after the operation, and I'm about ready to vomit. You know, going, "Oh, is that what's going to happen to me?" Mm-hmm. And she said, "No, nah, the whole thing's easy. It's easy peasy. It's really simple. You know, they put you out a little bit, and then they do the eyes." I go, "Okay, well, that's fine. It, it sounds good." Well, now I get to the hospital. Begin with at 6:30 in the morning <laughs> for an 8:30 operation. Yeah. Nothing like having somebody operate on you at uh, 8.30, 8, 8.30 in the morning. But anyway, I did it at 8.30 in the morning. They, they I get keep... there. I'm in the waiting room at Mount Sinai's Eye and Ear Infirmary, it's called. You yeah. Know. It's been there for years. No nose, no throat. It, 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 yeah. Ear, ear, nose, and throat, I think. I, I, maybe it's, it's something like that. Anyway, I, no, I and, well, anyway. Yeah. It, it's, it's the special uh, it, it, iron lid iron, iron whatever anyway so I go there and um, eight, eight, it's 6 30 in the morning and they say oh well sit in the waiting room please well why why didn't you tell me to get here at seven o'clock you know well, it what to sit in the but I so I sat there in the uh, in the um, waiting room and now Mind you, this is Mount Sinai Hospital, right? There are bugs crawling all over me. Little flies all over me. They're in the the waiting room. Well, maybe they were there for an operation. Well, yeah, I was going to make the same joke myself, but then I decided not to. (laughs) But that's not funny. That doesn't give you much confidence in a hospital, right? So then they put you through all the same, the same things they did when they did my, my, my prostate. They asked me the same questions here. Now it's the same hospital system, it's Mount Sinai. You would think that one part of Mount Sinai talks to another part of Mount Sinai and they say, well, you don't have to answer these questions. We've already had them answered. Any changes in them? You know. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you know. It's anytime you fill something out, even a credit application, they ask you the same thing 14 different times. Yeah. You know, write in your address. What is your shipping address? And then the next page, they want the same information. Right. Right. So anyway, uh, I go in there and uh, finally they suit me up. You know, it, it, it's a whole process they do 
that takes forever. Now they give you the outfit with the little socks and the thing, you know, and the end of it, and then you got the, and here, put this on, but don't tie it in the back. Okay, fine, don't tie it in the back. Then put this over it, which is an over thing, yeah. like a bathrobe. And I went, you know, why do they have that? Why don't I just, why don't they just tie me up in the back and march me into the operating room? They did that to me every morning that I was going in for the uh, radiation. Uh, I had to do the same oh, thing. I, no, but you know what? I had it radiation. I don't know if they had it where you were. But when I went in for the radiation, I, I had, they had everything made, ready for me. They, they had a place to say, you go here, you get this, you get that, you put this on, you put that on, here's your yeah. locker, you know, well, you know. And, they, and a bag. Yeah, and I did this every other day for like a week and a half. Yeah. Okay, you had to, you had Every day, uh, Monday through Friday for seven weeks. Yeah, I only had to do, this was like the cyber knife thing, you know, yeah. where it's faster. It's, anyway, forget about that. That's not what this is all about. So I then, I, I'm sitting there, now I gotta wait somewhere else uh, for the operation. It's like I'm waiting to be executed, right, well, you know? Make sure that you're there. I mean, they got a, a oh, whole yeah, yeah. Uh, cadre of people that are uh, going to be participating in this. Yeah. And uh, if you don't show up or you're late. Well, my doctor, my doctor finally comes over to me, shows up and he says, hi, he says, how you doing? I said, I'm a little anticipatory of this thing. I'm a little, you know, it's not like, you know, it, it, it with the, it's funny with the, um, with the seeds, I didn't have as much angst over it. I don't know why, but the, with the seeds, they, they, they weren't cutting into me. Yeah. You know, maybe you knew more about the seeds uh you've done a lot of research didn't you yeah but anyway so my doctor uh says oh we're gonna do this and then we'll put you on we're gonna put you on light sedation i said why not heavy sedation he says i need you awake so you can move your eyes for me and i'm thinking he's going to inject my eyeballs with a dulling substance my not my eyeballs but my lids yeah. and, th and then he's going to cut into there and all the long, all along, <laughs> I'm on light sedation. Well, did you feel anything? Yes. Well, it wasn't. I, f I felt everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And so, uh, so wait a minute. So then, then he. So I go in there, and they put me in a light sedation. And I'm thinking, you know, the great thing about going to the hospital and being sedated is you get high. But she's not pumping enough stuff in me to even make my, my toes quiver. You know, I mean, it's just terrible. So um, that was it, you know. And uh, I, uh, I was, um, uh, we, he, they, he started working on me. And uh, of course I'm dulled up there, so now I'm not gonna feel it. But you know, there's a little pushing and prodding and he's sewing me up and doing things like that, you know. And then he's gotta do the lower lids. He says, we can give you higher sedation for the lower lids because I don't need your cooperation. I went, great, sock it to me. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not in a la la land. I'm not going, oh, you know, I'm really feeling cool about this, you know. Do you know what they gave you? Just a sedative of some sort, you know. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing, not propofol or anything like that. They didn't put me, I didn't go out and then suddenly wake up and he says, well, it's all done, you know, like I'm used to doing with a colonoscopy, for instance. Yeah. Hell, they should have a tube up your ass and they're nicer about it. <laughs> anyway, so I, I uh, uh, and then at one point I'm going, is it okay? He said, shut up, I'm working. Well, that's good bedside manner. Yeah, it's a great good bedside manner. So he does me, and we're through with it, and he says, uh, you know, I don't even see him afterwards. He just leaves. I don't know. I guess he gets his bag of money and goes, you know. You know, it's it's uh, like the, you know, the so, girl, the, you leave in the morning and she's yeah. still sleeping. <laughs> so, I, so I go to see him yesterday. Yeah. And he looks at it and he says, well, one may have to do one eye again a little bit to bring it up a little more because you were very difficult as a patient. And I went, how's that? He said, well, you were, you were squirming a lot. I said, I had, I had hardly any sedation in me. You know, yeah. I'm sorry. He says, well, on a scale of one to, uh, one to 10, you were a seven. 
You know, well, what am I? Are you rating me like you rate women you fuck? You yeah, know? Well, you know, uh, don't they have something that holds your head in, no, in, no, in no. position so you can't move no, it? No, they didn't. Now that you mention it, no, they didn't. You would think that they would. You would think they would, yeah. But, you know, I mean, and Marjorie went, oh, well, you're such a baby. I went, I was under light sedation, and, and they were... What they were doing to me was uh, was uh, uh, just uh, uh, you know sticking a needle into my eyelids and uh, cutting into my eyelids and doing all of this without the benefit of heavy sedation. You you've got to expect that I'm going to be you know a little little off maybe. I, uh, I have a friend and uh, that. Uh, comes into the store and he's telling me mm -hmm. that uh, he's having some issues with his eyes mm -hmm. and the uh, treatment for it is that they actually inject something into the eyeball and I don't think the yeah, I know I don't think the eyeball actually feels oh anything. no 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 your eyeball does feel it but but what they do it's what they did when they have when they do um, if you had uh, um, uh, no cataract I mean, surgery uh, the cataract. Uh, what, cataract. Yeah, cataract. Not, not yet. They're not ripe enough. Yeah. Well, what happens is they cut into your eyeball there. In fact, they cut into there and they remove the uh, the lens. All right. Uh, uh, and I've had it done. You don't feel a thing because what they do is they numb the eyeball with just like a liquid they pour in yeah. there. Yeah. And the drops maybe sting for a minute or so and then you're fine. You know, you're really cool. And, oh. and, um, uh, uh, I uh, so I, he won't he won't feel a thing. He won't. He yeah. just won't. What I'm, if, I'm not going for cataract surgery anytime soon. I just got a new pair of glasses. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, I, ever since I got cataract surgery, I didn't have to wear glasses that much. I know they say they'll give you 2020 vision. But that, no, it doesn't necessarily. That's not the reason for it. Did, um, did you get monovision? No, no. Where the one's close and one's distance? No. No, I could never uh, adapt to that. I was fine. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't know. I'm getting some little problems tonight with the picture. But fuck it, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I right, don't care as anymore. long as you don't rub your eyes. Um, you want me to tell you another story? Yeah, tell me a story. This is, this is another one. So, so um, I'm looking at my watch the other day, my Apple Watch. Yeah. And I notice when you go to it and bring it up like this, you see. Wait a minute. Let me see here if you can see it. You see yeah. that? You see that white, yeah, thing. Well, that's your cellular signal, mm -hmm. and it wasn't lit up, and it wouldn't light up. And um, uh, so I call. I I got to call AT and T. Yeah. Now I got to tell you, I just found this out. In, in, there are two things I found out about AT&T that are horrible. Number one, consumer reports out of five cellular services rates AT&T as number five in customer satisfaction. You mean below the ones that are out of business? The, below the ones that are out, yeah, below Sprint, right? <laughs> anyway, number one, by the way, is T-Mobile for you customer can. satisfaction, yeah. But this whole thing, you go, well, what the fuck is happening here? You know? Uh, so, uh, I'm, uh, anyway, so... Uh, well, I, 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 what? Did they slow down your signal? You know, there was just an update. And my iPhone 10 mm -hmm. is, is so slow now, because I guess it's 3G mm -hmm. uh, when they're using... Well, my, but here, here's my new phone. This is my 13. Yeah. Mac. Uh, Apple Pro. But anyway, here's the deal. So I uh, call them up. Uh, this is at night. And mm -hmm. I'm put on hold. Okay? Yeah. And I'm put on hold. And I'm put on hold. And I'm put on hold. Nobody there? And I'm put on hold. And I'm put on hold. And I can't remember what happened the first time. The first time, I finally got them after about 30 minutes. And I told them what the problem was. I said, I can't get it. And they said, well, uh, let me see. Turn. Oh, they always say this. Turn your phone on and off. Turn your watch on and off. All right? 
And uh, I go, okay, fine, yeah, sure. You had a call back? What? No, you so back. So I, so I, you know, they they can't figure out what to do. I'm trying to remember what happened on that first call that night, but I didn't get any satisfaction. Let me mm -hmm. put it this way: my watch by the end of the call was still not working. Yeah. Okay. And there, uh, and I I decide I'll call back tomorrow. All right. This is at, this. Is, Hmm? Did they ask you if you plugged it in? Oh, no, you know, I mean, I turned this on and off, and I, you know, I know all that. It all, yeah, it, it wasn't working. Are you updated yeah. on all your phones and your watch? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, they're all reading off a page in a book. Yeah. Right? They yeah. don't know. It used to be when you called technical support, you got a technician. Yeah. You got somebody who knew what the fuck they were talking about, and they were such whiz bang guys. They just made you feel like shit, you know, because you didn't know as much as they did. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least they didn't say RTFM. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, let me. T so anyway, so I, I, I get no satisfaction at all out of this. So I'm, I'm just, I'm, I can't go to sleep that night. It's just getting to me. I'm going. And I'll call them back in the morning. So I call them back in the morning. And they say, now this is great service for you, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to love this. You call them, and they say, uh, you know, it says on the thing, what do you want? You know, and you say, well, you know, I got troubles with my you know, Apple Watch. Well, if you say that, they send you over to this company they've hired to handle this sort of thing who don't know what they're doing at all. Why, why don't you call Apple Care if you're having a problem with your Apple Watch? Oh, well, Apple actually, at one point in all of this, AT&T called Apple, and Apple said, we don't know what's going on. Well, if you have an Apple Watch and it's not doing what it's supposed to do... They blame it on AT&T. Well, no, maybe... You no, know, but this, was, oh, this is an AT&T issue. Really? Yeah. Okay, because I've had very good okay, luck Okay, well, anyway, let me, let me go on with this story. I'm, I'm trying to... Talk you about know, me. I, I, I'm so, so... Don't worry, we got lots of time here because nobody's yeah. calling. Okay, they've given up on me entirely. All right. Well, they know you're going to be on tonight. I, I I put it everywhere that I was going to be. Okay. You know, so I mean, what the hell? But yeah, anyway, they know I was going to be here. Where was it? Where, where was I? Oh, you were uh, talking about your Apple Watch. You were, yeah. They, anyway, it's, I can't remember what happened this first night, but I got no satisfaction at all. So the next morning, I decide to call. And what you do is you don't say I have a problem with my Apple Watch because you don't want them to send you over to that other company, okay? Because yeah. then it takes forever to talk to somebody. What you want to say is, let me talk to a representative. And they say, about what? the machine says and then you go let me talk to a representative say that the second time and they will then put you on hold and put you in a queue and then uh -oh. they say sometimes they say okay and we will call you back right okay in 15 minutes all right so i, I say call me back in 15 minutes they call me back in 15 minutes and what i get on the line is a human being who i can't understand a word they're saying <laughs> All right. Um, they do that on purpose. Yeah, I can't understand a word the person is saying. Yeah. And it's driving me crazy. And I said, do you have a supervisor I can talk to? And they, what do you, what, what do you want? A supervisor yeah. to talk to, what, a super, why, you, what? We didn't have a You know, uh, you know, I don't mind being in a country where English isn't the primary language. Just let me know what language it's going to be, and I'll learn it, okay? <laughs> It'll take that long on hold. I don't care. Anyway, finally, I can't take it. I just hang up. So I call back again, and again I tell them I want to talk to a representative twice. And they put me on hold, and then the thing says, we'll call you back in another 15 minutes. And I hang up, and I wait. And they call me back in 15 minutes. Okay, and uh, this time I can understand the person, and I tell them what the problem is, and they say to me, "Well, wait a minute. We you better talk to a a, a, a technical person. Uh, uh, we'll call you back." I can't remember exactly. You know, it's such a blur now as to what was going on, 
But at some, some point, at some point, I started talking to this woman who said, I'm a technology expert and I will help you with your problem. We can solve it. They always say that. We can solve it. Well, a positive thought. Four hours later. She Alex, came, I wear wait, an analog watch. Wait a minute. Let me finish. I, fuck you. Four hours later. Four hours later. There's, yeah, it's funny, I'm forgetting all the, the things and the way they went down, but four hours, I know this, four hours later, where I'm absolutely exhausted, turning the phone on and off, resetting the phone, doing all the things to do, and the thing still doesn't work, and she says to me, well, I don't know what the problem is, but the new phone's coming out in a few days, why don't you get that one? <laughs> and I'm going, this is your way of solving a problem? Um, she said, you could go to the AT&T store. I said, no, I can't. All they do is sell phones. They don't know how to fix them. Uh, they do have somebody there that and has a modicum of knowledge. Anyway, anyway. So I leave with my phones. My wrist, my, my, my Apple Watch is still broken. Yeah. So now I'm deciding, now I really, I fuck up the next day. I go online and I, a D, uh, they have a thing called NumSync, which don't ask me what number sync is, but whatever it is it syncs one thing to another and i dislodged it from my phone i took it off my phone online and now i want to get it back on so now i call this woman i call the the number and it's amazing it's amazing as soon as i say representative twice the phone rings and a woman picks up huh. and i can actually understand what she's saying and she says of course we can fix this problem for you i said well i want the number sync re-put on my thing Another hour later, she's still tapping around, getting this thing going, and then has me reset my phone again, my watch again, rather. Well, every time you reset the watch, it takes like an hour to reset. It has to like put all the stuff back in and so on and so forth, and then you go, this is ridiculous, you know? And so then she's telling me, do this, do that, do this, do that and I can't make it work. She says, well, listen, uh, I'm gonna to talk to my supervisor and can I call you back? And I said, well, I have something I have to do. I had to do uh, Steve Kravitz. And I said, well, call me, call me back in a half hour. Half hour comes and goes. No call. No call, right? This is after I went with her for about two hours trying to fix the phone. They called uh, Steve Kravitz. Never, never called. Never called. Now, yeah. I go to the doctor at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. She's supposed to call me back at 1.30, right? At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm driving, I'm coming home in the cab, and the phone rings, and it's her. I'm, this is your call back. I said, you were supposed to call me back two hours ago. She says, I said, it's not, she says, well, I want you to turn your phone on and off or do this. And I said, I'm in a cab right now. Can you call me in 15 minutes? I'll be home. She says, okay, I'll call you in 15 minutes with my supervisor, my technology supervisor, who will be able to solve this problem. Absolutely. What do you think happened? You didn't get a call back. I'm still waiting for her to call. <laughs> now, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. This is the part that's really going to get to everybody who's listening right now, and none of you are calling, so I assume that we don't have to take callers tonight, and Phil and I can just do this for the rest of the show. She, um, this, this, you're gonna love this, Phil. Hold on to your pants. So I decide, man, nah, I'll, you know, I, I'm so obsessed by the fact I can't get this phone going. Is it something wrong with my system or whatever? So I go to the AT and T site, and I've I've gone over it before, and I went like install NumSync, and it didn't work, and it didn't do that number sync, and whatever. And then I look right down, and it says. Install eSIM. It's just a little button on the page that says install eSIM. So I figured, what the hell, nothing else has worked. I click on it, next thing I know my watch is working. <laughs> they that, didn't know that. that. They didn't know that. And that's all they had to know. All they had to do was say, well, look, go, uh, go over to AT&T and decide, okay, now click on your watch and I'll click on extras and things like that or whatever the, the thing was uh-huh okay see where it has a whole bunch of options 
click on the one that says install eSync. Oh, okay, click. Five minutes, I would have been out of there and it would have been fixed, but they didn't know what they were doing. This is the way you recuperate after an operation? That's right. <laughs> hey, everybody, you can start calling if you want to. We can add calls to this for now, but if nobody calls tonight, I'm not doing a show tomorrow night. Forget uh, it. Uh, yeah. It's only uh, five minutes into the uh, caller. Uh, uh, you know, there's 30, 41 people on the uh, on the thing. I don't well, see there any. are 41 people. It's like they're really interested in me having problems. Anyway, I'm telling you, folks, they don't know nothing at AT and T about their own system. Wait you a minute, know. Alex. This uh, Forbin Colossus uh, said there was no audio at 37 minutes after the hour. No audio on what? I don't know. That's that's all he said. Uh, uh, that he had in this chat. Uh, the uh, uh, there's no audio. That was uh, it. There's there's audio going out. That would have been seven minutes uh, into the show. Seven minutes into the show. And that's the only posting that I see. Seven Maybe. minutes into the show. It's weird because I know we're going out there. Let me just let me let me just see if there is audio. Hold on a second. In the chat. You know, I mean, uh, I'm gonna go here. And well, I, I'm, remember that was seven minutes in. You know. Yeah, it was seven minutes in. Uh, let me see. Unmute site. Okay. It's uh, into the show. No, that's it. We have audio. It's into the show. Yeah, we have audio. That's the only we have audio that I see. Okay. We have so, audio. All yeah. right. So, uh, oh. yeah. Something so. else. So there, there's there's people out there. There's 39. There was 41 a second ago. Yeah. 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 37. I don't, uh, I don't know why they're not calling. Yeah. But anyway, so what I'm saying is, uh, you got AT&T. Uh, let me just add Alan to this uh, mix here. Hold on a second. Um, we, we, we have, and I'll get rid of the Phil Meyer text here. All right, there we go. All right. I've heard it since you started. Oh, okay. Okay, so this Colossus fellow is, uh, uh, hmm. yeah, and somebody else writes audio is fine. Yeah, audio yeah. is fine. Okay. It's fine. Anyway, anyway so, so, I mean, what happens is, here you've got a company that should be having people who are doing customer service, especially right. this kind of thing, uh, who know what they're doing. She, all I, I know she was doing was looking at a fucking manual. And she was like somebody they turned me to as a technology expert. Yeah. And well, everybody's, hmm? everybody's an expert, even Alan. Yeah. Uh, Phil, Phil's an expert on older wines. <laughs> yeah, but this uh, the point I'm making here is that uh, is that any way to run a company? Oh. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, and I finally when You're I solved the, when I solved the right? problem, if they had ha if they had known right. what they were doing, they would have said, "Hey, you just go to the AT&T site. Okay, now go over to here and go over to there. Click on that. You're good to go." Does it just go on. Yes, the, the 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 cellular just went on. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. Instead, they wasted, ready for this, a total of seven hours of my time. Yeah. You know, no, and, and I'm not that young. I, every minute matters to me. Yeah, right now, yeah. Yeah. You know, who needs this kind of stress? That's that's why I don't want, uh, I have a, a one of those watches, the Apple Watch. I have the first generation, I think. Mm -hmm. And I don't use it. I haven't, I haven't worn it since I bought it. Because uh, you know, I'd rather wear my analog watch, and uh, well, I'm buying the new one tomorrow. No, I love this thing because when I take a walk, I get to put up on the workout thing. It tells me how far I've walked and where I've walked, and uh, you know, it, it uh, lets me know how many calories I've done, and you know, I can call people with it if I don't if I don't have my uh, my iPhone with me. It's not dependent on the iPhone, you know. Yeah. You're talking about AT and T or Apple? We're talking about the oh. Apple Watch right now. Right, right. But yeah. I was lost if, if you were talking about AT and T. Well, we were talking about AT and T. I mean, it's just having lousy, just service. a horrible yes. company, just a horrible yes. company. And then I find out, but well, you won't mind this, Phil. They are the prime financiers of OAN. Really? Yes. 
Wow. In the news the other day. Yeah. Yeah, fake news. No, uh, it's it, not. No, it's not fake news. Everything's fake news. <laughs> I mean, OAN is the prime uh, financing arm of OAN. They're responsible for ninety percent of their advertising. Wow. Well, you know, my pillow is responsible for most of the box. The, the, no, the other ten percent of OAN advertising. <laughs> Uh, you know, it, it, you know, Fox's commercials yeah. have sort of uh, uh, gone downhill a little bit. You got my pillow. You got Tatiana, uh, who's trying to get you a uh, a loan on your house if you're a uh, veteran. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and the car warranty company. Those vegetable. Uh, if you drink, take these six capsules a day of vegetables. You'll, you'll be young again, and your memory will come back. I'll tell you something about uh, Fox, okay? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel showed this last night. It's hilarious. Uh, they have been the main people against wearing masks and against vaccinations as a broadcasting organization. He showed them opening up a new facility or something in Washington where they're cutting the ribbon and every staff member has a mask on. <laughs> Hypocrites, like the whole Republican Party. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that they're the main uh, outlet that is anti-mask. Well, according to uh, Media Matters, which is now one of my favorite organizations, they did a, a poll to see how much time was spent by Fox in anti-vax and anti-masking uh, rhetoric. And it was pretty extensive. Well, Even Newsmax amazing. is more pro mask than than Fox News, I think. Really? Yeah. Do you Newsmax, watch? Do you watch? Newsmax makes Fox News look you, liberal. You have to pay for Newsmax, or no. no? No. No. You do. What's the one you have to pay for from Fox? Uh, Fox Nation or Fox something. Fox Nation. Well, that's their that's their little you know Fox News Plus kind of thing. Well, I haven't done that either. Yeah. By the way, anybody gonna else gonna call tonight? I mean, what do I have to do? Drop dead in order to get listeners? What? I go away for a week and a two and a half weeks. One part of it because of illness, and the other because I didn't want you to see how hideous I look. I wish I had a, I wish I had a picture here of how bad I looked the other day. But Phil could know. describe it because it. Well, it was your one eye was much more black and blue. Uh, yeah. Uh, th than the other. I like the picture of the two water-filled condoms on your eyes. Oh, what they did? No, that was in, I thought that was ingenious. I, I forgot to mention that to my doctor yesterday. Yeah. If you look at it, I put it up on the on my uh, Facebook page before pace, Facebook disappeared, uh, and uh, it was a. Um, uh, they have to put ice over your eyes, okay, right after it. They want to keep the swelling down. In fact, I had to keep wearing a mat, uh, uh, ice packs for two days, for three days straight, okay? One well, on, one off, one on, one off, one on, one off, uh, all, all the time I was awake. It sounds like it's a boring prospect, but after a while you kind of get used to it. Anyway, but they put this ice pack on my face, and what it was was two... Um, uh, two um, like blue Blipo. blue balloons, yeah. and they were filled with ice. And after you look at the picture, you suddenly begin to realize what it was. They took two surgical gloves. Wow! Right. Tied the, the fingers together, <clears throat> filled them with ice, tied them up. Okay. Then put them on my, on here and over my eyes. I thought that was ingenious. I mean, you know, there must be some kind of thing where they they have something they'll charge a hospital forty dollars a piece for that will do this. But they figured out just a cheap way to get the surgical gloves. Do that, you know. Charge the forty bucks for the gloves, and I look like the Invisible Man in the picture. Now everybody on that thread was, oh, Alex, get better. You know, oh, we're pulling for you and, and so forth. Did you see what I wrote? No. Said, uh, Take me to your leader. I come in peace. Oh, yes, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I said uh, this is I was the new invisible man because I kind of looked like Claude Rains and the invisible man. 
Why is this thing stalling every now and then? I don't know. Let me give up. I don't uh, care. Maybe it's got AT and T. I don't care. But if nobody, if we don't get more callers tonight, I think I'll take tomorrow night off too. Why not? Yeah. Nobody expects me to be on. Nobody's on Facebook. No Charlie. No Brian. <clears throat> um. What, what, what do you mean? I'm Mike kidding. Allen is. We can invite him. No, please. I'm kidding. <laughs> that, I don't know. Please. please. But anyway, so, so but so so what's what's gotten to me lately is the fact that uh, uh, personal services and, and customer service has gotten so bad that it gets to the point where when something goes wrong, like my phone goes bad or my watch goes bad or whatever, I just go into a panic because I know I have to like call AT and T and I know how terrible they are. I just don't want to ever have to talk to them. I'll just send them the money every month and shut the fuck up, you know? They're fucking with me on the iPhone because I refuse to spend 1300 bucks on a new iPhone. This thing was $1,300. Uh, well, which know, one did you get? Uh, I have the iPhone 10 and I got the original one. The iPhone 10, yeah, well, they're, now they're cheaper. They're much cheaper than that. Well, yeah. But I, I, said, I said to myself, you know, uh, I'm just going to using this one what's wrong with it the camera you, you oh. can get a 13 for uh 700 I don't, want, <clears throat> I don't want a 13 i just want my iphone 10 to work a 13 cost you a thousand what it'll cost but this this is the problem i think that a, 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 apple is slowing down uh the other phones so that you get frustrated enough and you buy the new one i'll tell you I, this phone, which is the 13, is really fast. I mean, it's got the 5G yeah. in it, which you, you know, it's almost as, it's as fast as my Wi-Fi for sure. Yeah, pull out the 5G network everywhere or? You, yeah. Yeah, it works. So on top of that, Phil's phone doesn't even have the 4G plus no. that a lot of them have. So no. he's running really slow. Yeah, I'm either using my network at the house or... I'm using this LTE, uh, and I think that, yeah, that that's 4G LTE. Yeah, yeah. and uh, every once in a while, I've seen 3G on on the phone. You know, when I'm well, and also the phone runs faster. Good. I mean, the apps come up faster, everything, because it's a really fast chip in yeah. here. Okay, so how fast do I need it? You know? And do I need it that thirteen hundred dollars fast? Of course you do. Spend the money. Stop being so cheap. <coughs> oh, yes, Alan and I <clears throat> have been having this uh, battle. He's uh, he has a bunch of expensive wine, Bordeaux, you know, thing, mm -hmm. thing, you know, really good wines. So I keep teasing him and saying, "Can't you f afford any newer wines than the uh, ones that you're uh, running around with?" You know, because he has all this old wine. And yeah, we go back and forth. He really, Phil really enjoys and knows the difference between a cheap bottle and uh, and a good bottle, and so he likes the best. Well, you know, I have some good two buck chuck. If you want some? Yeah. Well, there you go. I know I not to send you anything more than five dollars. Yeah. Now he doesn't drink. They oh, don't drink. I had I had a credit uh, at uh, Hula Hands in Sausalito, so the Alex and Susan and myself and my ex wife. We went there and we tried to spend the credit and I, I'm ordering bottles of champagne and sending them, you know, giving them to the uh, to the uh, uh, people that work there. And Alex didn't want any of it. He doesn't drink. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I I'm I never have been much of a drinker. Yeah. You know? But, yeah. uh, you know, not missing, hmm? not missing anything. Yeah. You know, if you were, you might have been successful. <laughs> he was successful. I know, I'm teasing. Uh, you know, the um, uh, uh, with this new diet that I'm doing, I, I don't feel like drinking any alcohol. Uh, and, you know, between the exercise and the diet, I, I mean, you know, alcohol has not been well, anything. I've never, I've, never been a, I've never been a drinker. Never been a drinker. Uh, and and it it, it it it's been an advantage for me in certain cases. Um, yeah, designated driver. No, when I no, I you know that's the worst part of it actually. 
uh, because I don't like driving in a car with a bunch of drunks in the back seat, you know. So, uh, but uh, the, the, you're on the wall, huh? Yeah. Boy, my eyes are really, yeah, they're popping out here. You know who, uh, you ever watch Tucker Carlson when he's listening to somebody and he listens so intently that he stares and his eyes don't move? Have, have you noticed that? It's weird. I've seen that. Yeah. And I've gone, why doesn't he move a little bit? You know, it's not even in recognition that they're saying anything. Yeah. So, Exactly. Exactly. I, 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 I got to figure that he's seen himself on TV and he knows he did. He knows he does that. Well, when, yeah, that means he's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tucker Carlson. What a piece of shit for a human being. What a nice guy. No, actually, you know, I worked with Tucker. Tucker brought me on his show every week, every Friday for yeah. a couple really? months, maybe, you know. So he was a nice guy at one time. Uh, well, no, I mean he was he was good to me, you know. I mean I never w saw him personally because he was out in uh, New Jersey. They had a studio. And he was on MSNBC at the time, and they had a studio out in New Jersey. And I was in a room with a camera pointing at me, a robot camera pointing at me in uh, in New York City. And then there was a guy in Florida who I debated with. And uh, uh, it was, uh, I, but I so I never I never met Car Tucker, mm. but Tucker really supposedly liked the work I was doing, and but eventually MSNBC said, "I we want you to do away with that. Here's what we want you to do with your show," and he didn't have that much control over what he was doing. So, yeah, well, now he's got kind of like right now when you listen to him talk, he doesn't he's out of control, control too. Yeah. Where is everybody? I would have thought that people would have gone, oh, hey, Alex is going to be back on tonight. I would have thought so, too. Charlie's probably... Uh, well, I mean, Charlie is firing. not the only caller. Where's Jeff? <laughs> where's... Uh, yeah, who's where's some, Jeff? Who are some of the other people? Ooh. Where's Brian? I mean, I would think that people were going to be happy to welcome me back to the show. I was but happy. I guess they got used to not uh, putting up with me. But if I don't get uh, uh, just some more people tonight, I'm not going on tomorrow night. Oh well, here comes uh, here comes Matt Duckworth. Who the hell is Matt Duckworth? Oh. Maybe uh, Larkin. Let me see here. Let's see who Matt Duckworth is. I'm, uh, oh no, there's Matt Duckworth. Hello, Matt. How are you? Hey, Alex. How are you? Yeah, you've I'm called. Good. You've called before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah. I was. I was getting the guilt trip that I needed to call in. Oh, well, you see, you're, you're, you're here to help, which is really nice. Um, I'm uh, glad to see you survive the surgery. Yeah, well, I mean, I wasn't, it wasn't going to kill me. You know, it wasn't like they were going to do something that, oh, gee, did he, did he survive the surgery? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we got the boil off his butt, you know. <laughs> and now it's living in Walnut Creek on Alma Street. Yeah. Where's Matt calling from? I'm in Seattle. Oh, He's okay. in Seattle. You're the one that moved. You... I'm the one that moved. Yeah. Uh, for the last two months, I've just been doing... Uh... Right, Texas or something like that and moved to Seattle. Because you right. needed... But more apparently, room. apparently he's moved in because he has his surround sound speakers <laughs> on the wall. Yes. On the wall. Everything is settled in. Oh, I did that like the first week. You know what they should do with those surround sound speakers? Somebody should come up with surround sound that doesn't have any wires leading to it. Because a lot of people have to put it up on the wall like that. Wireless. Wow. Like no, that. I have wireless. I have wireless back speakers in the guest room. But, but, they're not exactly wireless. They're wireless from the front to the back. But when you get to the back, there's this unit and then it has two wires going out to the speakers. Mm, so it's right. not that's what mine are too. Yeah, so so it's not exactly wireless, right? You know. A brand called Correct. I Sonus. This means you don't have, you don't have to wire have a wire going across the living room to the TV. Right. What did you say, so. Phil? Personas? No, not personas. Sonus. <clears throat> I think it, I'm not. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. <clears throat> wireless speakers and they're supposed to no, be but, pretty. But when they say wireless speakers, it's not like they're wireless. They're they're only wireless back to a unit in the back that then goes out by wires to the speakers. Hmm. So you know, here comes Charlene Martinez uh, joining the party. Uh, 
But uh, uh, so did you? Did you get every? You got all moved in and everything, and you got all the furniture set up, and you. Yeah, the house is uh, uh, more of a fixer upper than I realized, mm -hmm. and so it's been that's two months now, almost three months. Uh, it's just been nonstop. Did so you, I just finally did, settling. Did in. you buy a house? There? So, is that what yeah. it is? Yeah, but I, I bought it without. I bought it through the eyes of an iPhone. Just I didn't see it in person. <laughs> so when you finally got there and saw what you did buy were you disappointed yeah. or were you happy i was no i was happy it's just it it looked bigger online <laughs> it always does yeah <laughs> well you, you know we got those no wide angle lenses on the iphones now and you just put on the wide angle lens and everything looks bigger you know yeah well then i got everything settled and then i decided that they've got the popcorn ceilings you know those you know that stuff where it's actually asbestos or yeah. candy yeah and so I hired somebody to do it, and just the upstairs, because uh, just take it half at a time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was I was uh, uh, having carpet put in too, so <clears throat> I had to have the, the ceiling done before the carpet. And it mm -hmm. came down to the very last three days. I hired a guy to do it. <clears throat> he got halfway through it and bailed on me. <laughs> wow. wow. Him? So I had to finish it myself in a day and a half. So. So you just. If it hasn't been sealed, you just wet it and scrape it off the ceiling. Right. You Luckily, he he got he took he got the popcorn off, but he didn't he didn't do the painting. So I had I had to do the painting part. So it, the the original name was acoustic ceiling. It was supposed to absorb noise, and so oh, is that it? Did you not like the look of it, or you just wanted to get rid of it? <clears throat> uh, it's yeah, it's pretty ugly. Um, and plus, I, I had to have it tested. Yeah. It cost me sixty bucks to test it for asbestos. Yeah. Because if it's asbestos, it can be. If you if you disturb it, it can be very very toxic. In fact, the the the, um, the kit that you order to test it, they give you a whole get up. You get a mask, the whole thing. Your whole body is covered, and you send it in, and they send well, it back that, to you. That's how they had me. That's what they did that made me wear when I went in to have my surgery. Right. You know. <laughs> so I didn't. Yeah. I, I my whole house has all the bedrooms in the hallway have the popcorn ceiling. And I took the cheap way out of it because I don't look at the ceiling very often. I just had it sealed. And to seal it, they just use latex paint and spray yeah. it on. Oh, okay, let's not get boring here. Let's not get boring here. <laughs> well, we could go back to your, your, your Apple Watch. Well, uh, that, that story, I think, is interesting because it's amazing that here, a company we used to call, remember when we call her Ma Bell? Yeah. AT&T, yeah. right? You know, you knew that you called up Ma Bell, you told me you had a problem, they told you, we'll fix it here. You know, in those days, all they had to do was like flip a switch, you know. You know, in, in the days when you had Western Union phones, or, or Western, what, what were they? Electric. Western Electric. Western Electric. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever happened to those phones. You, you, you could hit them with a hammer. Well, what I was going to do, what I was going to do is I was going to do, I want to do an ad for, uh, AT&T at the time and Western Electric. And the line would be, would have been, the ad would have gone, remember that time you got mad at your wife and you pulled the phone out of the wall and threw it against the wall and it, it chipped a little bit? No. Do you remember that? I heard well, you remember how you then still, took the phone I and you just can. screwed it back into the, into the thing and the phone was working again? We're wow. AT&T, we always work. You know, I mean, what you could do, uh, and people would, you would use the phone for your anger. You would rip the phone out of the wall because you knew you could screw it right back in and you That's could it. throw it across the room and it wouldn't break. It was this, it, in fact, what you were going to do is put a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, if you hit it with a hammer, you broke the hammer. I mean, I could take these phones I got now that you buy at the Best Buy and I could just break them in half. It, it, you ever uh, see these shows, TV shows, where the guy has a burner phone, makes a call, and then breaks it? Yeah. Well, the same thing. They're made to be disposable. No, wait a minute. Where do they get those? The, where do they get those phones? Are those are the ones that they, those are the cricket phones. Yes. <laughs> uh, weren't those the ones that uh, 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 Better Call Saul was selling? I think. Was, yeah. Yeah. Cricket wireless street. Talk. Well, a burner phone is simply a phone that you dispose of after you've done your illegal thing with it. That's right. Hello, Charlene. How are you? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I called to support your uh, operation. 
and tell you that you look good, and I'm glad you're back on because well, I miss you. Yeah, weeks. but nobody else misses me. None of the regulars <laughs> miss me. You know, mm -hmm. I have to rely on Mr. Duckworth and you to pull me through, and Alan, of course, and, and, and Phil. Top liver right here. Huh? Top liver, yeah. <clears throat> for all you people, just... for all you people that for years have complained about Phil, just remember he's the one that called tonight. For all mm -hmm. of you who complain about uh, Alan, he's the one who called tonight. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you, know, you you had mentioned that in in days of past, days before mm -hmm. that maybe I dominated the show and and you, you got mad at me because you said, well, other people aren't going to be calling if you dominate the show. So I stopped calling and nobody called. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you got to call every night again. Yeah. Yeah, well, who are some of the other regulars that usually call? We got Jeff and uh, who else? Doctor, uh, Doctor, Doctor. What do you call him? Doctor Evil? Doctor uh, Doom? Doctor Death? <laughs> Charlie? Uh, Char well, Charlie, of course. Uh, what, what? Vernon? Vernon? Uh, where's uh, Larkin? Where, Larry, where, where, what's his where's first Brian? name? Where's Brian? Where's John Larkin? Where's? Uh, they all probably have jobs. Yeah, you know the traffic has gotten extremely heavy lately. Uh, I was stuck in a traffic jam. Uh, I, in the morning, I see traffic jams. People are now driving. It's not like the COVID days when uh, when you could go anywhere. And it not... was wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It really <laughs> was. I have, I have, to, I've had to use a, a lift to take me back and forth to various doctors and things like that in the last couple of days, and the traffic is a bear. Yeah, you're yeah. in the Bay Area too. Yeah, I, I, I can't believe how much traffic is out there. It's like pre, it's worse than pre-COVID days. Now, by the way, I want to congratulate California. Do you know California now has the lowest infection rate in the country? Yes. Yeah. Positivity rate is the lowest. Why do you think that is? Newsom had something to do with that? I believe so. Yeah. Yep. Masks, and they're mandating a lot of school districts and a lot of cities. Mm -hmm. Are mandating masks, unlike Florida. Yeah. Uh, where where are your papers? Where are your papers? You, you know, a lot of a lot of people are getting complacent about Delta in, in like places like California and the East Coast. But there's a theory that Delta moves around. It's done with the South, and now it's in the Pacific Northwest. And they're thinking that it might come to the east Eastern Seaboard for a while. So well, I know that there's a, a lot of people are vaccinated there, but there's a lot of people that aren't too. So right, we'll see. Right. We'll see if it burns out or if it I, continues. I, I got vaccinated, and I I got vaccinated because I wanted to be safe. But I don't feel that you should make other people do things that they don't want to do. Uh, and and now having a second class society, you can't come into this restaurant. You can't come into this theater unless you show your vaccination papers. Uh, you know, I, I don't I, see anything wrong with that, Phil, and I'll tell you why. Then, then why wouldn't you show a, a voting, a voter ID? Uh, well, why because won't you have to do uh, it? What, what, is, what, are the, what do the two have to do with sick. each other? One is a public one health kill issue. You. <laughs> yeah, one will kill you, and the other won't. But you know, this is. <laughs> Like Nazi Germany, you know, people, no, you know, no, 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 Phil, Phil, come on, come on. It's not like Nazi Germany. Here's, here's the thing. What we're doing is we're trying to keep people alive. We're trying to end this thing once and for all. And the only way we can do it is to make sure people are vaccinated. And these people who really kind of mind being vaccinated, you know, and say, oh, I have a right not to be vaccinated. They they can't let their kids go to school without being vaccinated for measles and a bunch of other things. I mean, and and they as they were kids probably had to grow up getting vaccinated. For Bill this. is just towing the company line. No, I'm not towing the company yes, line. You I are. Like yes, you are. Yes, you are. This country, I don't like Phil. This. Phil, you know why it's happening? Because people are so selfish in this country, they won't do it voluntarily. That's right. 
the vaccine has been out for almost a year, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know that the amount of people that have died from COVID is more this year than last year? That, I, do, do you know that more people are uh, Wait a minute. What did you say, Phil? What did you dying? say? Well, that doesn't sound right. I'm, you're, no, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not right, Phil. Yeah, that's, that's you're not right because we have we when we started this year we had about six hundred thousand dead and now we got seven hundred. No, excuse me, we had five hundred thousand dead. And now and we now got we have, uh, No, no. Now we've got six and change, I believe. Oh, we got close to seven hundred. Oh, but oh, it okay. doesn't matter. Then it was six that we started out at. Right. Six hundred thousand. It doesn't matter, Phil. We don't have more than we last can... year. Last year we had like three hundred, four hundred thousand. Tucker Carlson. Oh, fuck Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Don't, please, if you're going to quote people, you know, quote, quote Adolf Hitler first. Come on. He did. You know. <laughs> and, uh, look, uh, don't they fact check this guy? You know, when he when he puts stuff out on the You're talking about Tucker Carlson? Obviously not. Well, he said that... In the He's a big year, ivermectin guy. In the last year... He said that uh, there has been more deaths from COVID than there was in, in the previous year. No, he's wrong. Have he's wrong. Just known, look at Have it. you ever known Fox News to get it right? That yeah. you know, the last year was the first year of COVID. We went from like three hundred thousand, thirty thousand cases to like something like four hundred, five hundred thousand. All I right. Matt's looking it up in one but, year. Yeah. Well, Matt, I think look Alex it up. is yeah. correct, though. Matt, look it up. It, Tucker Carlson's absolutely wrong. Don't get your information I'm, from Tucker. I'm thinking He'll, it's. I think it's five hundred thousand. Where right. it, it, last year? Last year. I, I, I'm thinking that, but let me let me check. Yeah, I, I think you're probably right. You got to remember that year really didn't start until March. That's when the big deaths started happening. Did you see Senator Graham on the news today? at a rally him telling people to go get vaccinated and everybody's like no no in the crowd senator graham yeah uh, graham yeah. he was in the news today graham? So, and he's telling people to get vaccinated hey, wait a minute. who's senator graham i never heard of senator graham graham who Lin lindsey, lindsey graham. graham oh lindsey graham <clears throat> you said yeah. graham graham no graham lindsey graham Sorry. yeah we're gonna have an answer Fuck. soon from Matt. Well, <clears throat> as of right now, we're at seven hundred and nine thousand. Mm -hmm. So I am the new Doctor Doom. Oh so, yeah, uh, so it's gone up about <laughs> what two hundred thousand since we started getting people vaccinated. And and it was it like six hundred? Yeah. Yes, yes, uh, Jack. Well, first of all, one I although I'm not a regular caller, I've been a long time listener, yeah, yeah. but. Uh, in deference to Phil Meyer. Uh, that guy, DeGrasse Tyson, I can't think of his, his whole name. Neil DeGrasse. Yeah, yeah. DeGrasse he Tyson, pointed Neil DeGrasse out today, Tyson. He pointed out today that Republicans are dying at about a 45% greater uh, rate than mm -hmm. Us left. Well, maybe I then I have think... to rethink about the dangers of uh, of the COVID. <laughs> well, I think that's a damn good start. <clears throat> yeah, I think yeah. that's a damn good start. All right. All right. That's like you're you're paraphrasing the old lawyer joke. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. What do you call lawyers. a dead? No. What do you call a dead lawyer in the road? A start. Good start. Yeah. Yeah. A what? A good a start. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> Scuba divers always say, "What's two hundred lawyers in the bottom of the ocean?" A good start. Yeah, yeah. If they're all Republicans. That's an even better start. But you know, I mean, the fact is that <laughs> that, that uh, uh, it was pretty. Uh, um, it's it's amazing what what uh, what we've come to in all of this. That we're we're talking even talking about why people shouldn't get vaccinated. Of course, you should get vaccinated. Do you want to be sick? Do you want to die? You know, and and people go, well, I'm really healthy, and I, you know, is, there's some very healthy people who are six feet under right now from COVID. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So I mean, <clears throat> well, but but at what point is there is the public uh, welfare? The problem is is that it's not a vaccine. This RDNA thing 
uh, is not a vaccine. A vaccine actually increases your... Uh, oh, uh, and a vaccine gives you the actual uh, disease. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I don't know that people would like that either. I think well, this whole RDNA uh, technology is terrific. Now, I got the Pfizer, and they said that after five months of two shots, you're down to 50%. So who uh, said you know, I, who said you're down to fifty percent? That's the question to ask. Who said that? Because uh, they're I, wrong. They're wrong. Uh, it was on the news. No, uh, well, yeah, where? What news? Wait, yeah, the Republican witness, news. Witness, that's all he ever Phil listens to. Believe the news. Phil doesn't believe the news unless it comes from Tucker Carlson. No, it could have been Epic Times. Times. It could have been what? Epic Times. Epic what Times. Been, oh, that's another what, one. Yeah, which even makes Newsmax look liberal. Yeah. Uh, I get so many uh, of these um, uh, things. More of the latest news. And do you believe but it's those? not news? Do you do you go to the supermarket and pick up the National Enquirer on your spare time? And, you and, know, and, Alex likes the National Enquirer. What? <laughs> Alec, I, thought you, I thought you liked the National Enquirer. No, I used to. You know, I used to read the National Enquirer because it was hilarious. You know, my mother used to read it, and as soon as she got to the check stand, she put it back. <laughs> well, you know, you know. I mean, I, all I'm saying is, Phil. You know, the, the the bottom line is that we are in a health crisis. We have to save human lives. We have to stop the disease, and to mandate, in, in you know, uh, uh, a vaccine or a shot or whatever you want to call it, is I think in the public interest of the American people. And so it's in the best interest of the American people. So there you go, you know? A lot of people are saying, mainly Republicans, the mRNA vaccines were developed quickly. Well, I got news. All they got to do is look back. Yes, they were developed quickly, but they've been, but the, the scientific community has been playing with mRNA vaccines for 20 years and trying to find the right. This, this, this version came out recently. But yes. this is not a technology we haven't had for the last 15, 20 years. That, that's what I'm and saying. And it is a proven technology, and yep. it simply has never been applied to something like this in the past to see how effective it would be. The Took fact the is that Pfizer, after what, how much? Uh, after after five, or six, five or six months, is down to something like 80%. It's not, you know, I 50%. But what it is doing, even if it's even if the antibodies are go to two percent, that's not the whole immune system. There's B cells and T cells, and they can't measure that real easily. And so the only thing they can measure is antibodies, and they admit. Oh wait, Matt, did you get did you get vaccinated? Yeah, I got my third dose. Well, uh, no, I'm talking about Monday. I'm talking about Matt. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely did. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Have you, have you gotten your third yet, or? No, it, it's not. It, it, isn't it? You have to be over sixty-five, don't you? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, over sixty-five or fifty to sixty-four with uh, comorbidities, and I have asthma. And I'm fat. Yeah, well, I had Moderna, and I got it. They gave me a third with the Moderna. Yeah. And then the other day, since I'm, I love getting needles shoved in my arms. Uh, I went and got my <laughs> flu shot, my regular flu shot. And you ask them to give you that in your ass. Yeah. <laughs> So well, the best, the best number, like it in your arm. The best number I can come up I with. I got my flu uh, shot yesterday. Well, here's the best number. The best number I can come up with. It's hard to find the target with that exact parameter, but we reached in the U.S. We reached 500,000 deaths in February of 2021. Of 2021. So, so, so yeah. So you got to figure. We're probably time, around three to four hundred. Yeah. Vaccines came three out. Three to four hundred thousand, and, and this year it's right. more like uh, two hundred thousand. So, so we've got a two hundred thousand yeah. in eight months. Yeah. Or, uh, six it, yes, Jack. I want to ask Phil a question. Phil, do you get an annual flu shot? Uh, well, I got. Oh, come on, no, that's that's yes or no. Well, wait a minute. He, no, wait a minute. To begin with, don't give Phil a bad time. He did get vaccinated. I, okay. I pushed I, a little kid out of the way to get it. I I got a phone call. <laughs> and I got my. I was going to get my. Uh, I got <clears throat> a, a, a vaccine. Uh, uh, COVID vaccine, and I was going to walk over to get the flu shot, 
-hmm. but I, I had to leave. So, no, I haven't gotten the flu shot this year. You get an annual flu shot in most years. I'll put it that way. You do. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I went out and I got the vaccine. That's not where I'm going with. That's not where I'm going with this. One of the first people to do it. No, he wasn't. He was. He was talking about the vaccine. He's talking about the, the, the flu shot. We forget there is another flu shot. Okay. And you where know. I'm so it's, going with this is, you know, based upon what Phil is saying, we should be pissed about the fact that the flu shot doesn't cover the flu of all types every year. We got to go in and get a you know, an annual flu shot. That's like comparing, you know, uh, it to what Phil is saying. No. The you're, COVID-19 you're, you're, vaccine. Uh, Jack, it, nobody is demanding that you get a flu shot. Nobody, they should be. They should be. Well, it's a public well, health. Well, hold hold on a second. Jack, Nobody, Jack no, while, while no. you're talking, it kind of puts his audio down so he can't say something. Okay. So, no, oh, no yes. one is, is denying you access to restaurants and other venues because you didn't get a flu shot. And they oh, should. Come on. How, how, come on. Hey, there are restaurants that say no shoes, no, sh no shirt, no service. Should they no. be forced to let people mm. in with no shoes and no shirt? That you know, Phil, because the people that don't get a flu shot, usually they're the ones, they may pass the flu to somebody else, but usually they're the ones that are going to get the sickest. Yeah. And it isn't like COVID. It's comparing apples to oranges. COVID, if you're sick and you don't get the vaccine and you get sick, you can pass it to somebody else and they can die. Yes, but and so if you had the vaccine and somebody else didn't and had COVID, Aren't you supposed to be protected? Well, wait a minute. There are breakthroughs. Not totally. It's not, not totally. The vaccine's not 100 percent effective. Also, there are people every year in this country and around the world that die from the flu. Absolutely. Yes. Mainly That's... older people. As unfortunately, sorry to say. That's, That's why I get my shot every year. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Hey, now you had your flu shot, Alex, and two weeks ago you were, uh, you know, really under the weather with the flu or no, something. No, I didn't like. have the flu. I, I didn't have the flu because if you have a flu, you have a temperature. I didn't have a temperature. I had a terrible cold, okay. uh, and uh, that's what it was, and that was prior to me getting the flu shot. But here again, the flu shot is not 100% either. Yeah. Uh, you know. But yeah. by the way, I will say to everybody, there who's afraid of getting the, the COVID vaccine that I've had both the regular flu shot and the COVID vaccine shot and the one that hurt the most was the fl regular flu shot. COVID vaccine you, 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 they do it and you go well when are you going to do it and they say we already have. Well, I, I would bet that everybody that listens to your show has had a COVID vaccine. How do you know that? I think it's a good it's, it's a good chance it's of that. It's just a guess. I said I would bet. I don't know it for sure. I just, Certainly, I we have two people here from California. Is there are smarter people that listen to Alex's show than listen to Fox oh, News. Let's let's talk about something else though. Okay. Let's get off of that. You know, let's, uh, let's I don't want I, I, I don't watch the news much because I'm on the phone all the time with AT and T. Okay, so I don't have time to watch the news. <laughs> I, I, I have to deal with the people at AT&T. But I do do something while I was talking to the woman at AT&T. I decided to put porn on my TV set while I was talking to her. So I could kind of jerk off while I was waiting for my, uh, my I, I watch to restart. Anyway, so I haven't gotten to watch the news much, but I did see the item tonight that a federal judge in Texas somewhere has said that the uh, abortion law that was signed into law by the uh, governor uh, is, uh, is what's the term they're saying? It, it's been made, uh, he put a halt to it. And yeah. they, they, right State. now you can have abortions again in Texas, and you're a in State. Texas. Huh? Yeah. -E -A -Y. A Who's in Texas. Who's in Texas? Uh, 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 J uh, Jack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jackson. Now, there. doctors. You were in are... Texas, right? No, where were you, Jeff? You were... Me? Yeah, where were you, uh, Matt? I was uh, in. I was in Houston and San Antonio. Yeah. See. Okay. Yeah. You know, he's in. Uh, he's he's outside of uh, Dallas somewhere. 
Alex, uh, now, even though they've lifted that stay on abortions, the doctors, if they perform them, they're in violation. And uh, uh, so... Uh, in violation he, of what, Phil? Uh, the, the law that, uh, that they did. So No, no, yes, no, no. They're, the law is... It, you're wrong. You're wrong, Phil. You're cl cl clearly wrong. Yeah, what are we going to say, Jack? You can clarify this. The whole law is on hold. Now, it's going to wind its way through the federal courts. Isn't there an, an additional law saying that the doctors can't perform? It's all part of the same bill that was passed by the Texas legislature in one of our famous Texas special sessions. Because Texas is stupid enough, and I've been down here 50 years, Texas is stupid enough to think that lawmakers can make all of their decisions in about six months. Doesn't the, doesn't the government uh, have an obligation to protect the rights of, uh, of, uh, of, of people? And I would imagine the rights of the unborn, if you've got a heartbeat, there's something there. Phil, and the unborn don't have any fucking rights. They can't jump out of that womb and start walking around on their own independently. Are you kidding yeah. me? I'm well, sorry. I think, I, think the, the, Phil, the, I think Phil is proof that 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 uh, abortion. You know what? Don't you know what you do, Phil. It just drives me insane because I know you and I like you and you're a wonderful person. Okay. I'll you know, I'm I'm happy to out. call you my friend. But when we get into discussions like this, you simply start pounding out the the liturgy of the right. I mean, it's just without thinking about it. But Tucker Carlson said there were more deaths this year from COVID than last year, so it must be true. Now, you you as a liberal or as a lefty uh, pound out the the left's uh, ideology. And, you know, one of the reasons that it's nice to have me here is that I am just... Oh, yeah, it's really pleasant. <laughs> right. And that I tell you how I feel. Now, mm -hmm. people are based their ideas on feelings. Yeah. You know, they feel this is right or that is right. Mm -hmm. And that's how, that's how they come up with it. Uh, Matt's got to... Yeah, wanna read yeah, yeah Matt, Matt wants to say something. How do, how do uh, I was, my, my screen says your hand is raised. I don't know why it's. I oh, I see. Raised. When you did uh, that hand <laughs> raise thing, it changed your position in the group. Yeah. Everything oh, it, moved wait a minute. around. Uh, oh, and it put, it put a hand up in the corner. Put, it put, put a hand up there. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. How about uh, that? Char, uh, uh, Interesting. Phil, put a hand up. Do you know where the hand is? I think I know how to do it. Maybe it's a. Maybe it's an i Because I'm on an iPad. Maybe it's an iPad function. Mm. No. Uh, that was, but it moved. But all of a sudden, you moved, moved everybody around. around. Yeah, <laughs> there, there we go. And there it goes. Yeah, Phil's now where. Wait a minute, Phil. Oh. Now you're where I used to be. Hold on a second. <laughs> well, Alex, you got to raise your hand. This is pissing me <laughs> off. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Raise his hand. Here I go. Boom. Um, Everybody's gonna. Hit. Well, you know, there's there's this thing called reaction, mm -hmm. and uh, there's other stuff there you you can do. You mm -hmm. can you can oh. add. Uh, all sorts of. Okay, uh, can't you get rid of it? I don't know. What happens Click if you do it again? Uh, lower hand. <laughs> oh, lower hand. Oh, I see lower hand, and I'll lower my. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody oh, lower their hand. Everybody lower their hand. Lower your hand there. There we go. I'm back in the middle again. But <laughs> okay, now back to me. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. As you were saying. Uh, what I was going to say with the two topics we've been discussing tonight mm -hmm. have a crossover because. The uh, politicians love to say, "My body, my choice." Yeah. For the for the vaccine. Yeah. But not when it comes to abortion. Right. Well, that that's but what you you're saying to me that the right wingers are hypocritical. No. <laughs> I, is that, I, I is that the point you're to. trying to prove here, Matt? <laughs> that they're consistent in their beliefs. Has anybody right. ever my, noticed? My body, my yeah. choice is uh is is for vaccines well i've also it's... tried to say that to women any number of times and i didn't win the argument uh yes but when a woman is pregnant with a, a, a an infant that no, yes. has a heartbeat it's not just her body Phil, anymore. until that little infant can go out of the body and survive okay 
either artificially or whatever, but can survive, he's not ready to vote, okay? I mean, he's not ready to be part of the human race. He is simply a zygote. Anyway, oh. let, 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 let Jack say what he's got to say, because I know Jack's got to leave. I've got to go, but uh, look, probably the most consistent group historically on this question has been the Catholic Church. We got any Catholics on the panel tonight? Anybody that, that grew art? Now the yeah, really, now, <laughs> really. Sorry, I was, I was, was going to follow that with the second most consistent group mm -hmm. from a religious standpoint has mm -hmm. been folks that grew up in the Jewish faith. Now here's what I'm going to lay down to. Mm -hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong, the Jews that are on the panel. Consistently, the Jewish faith has said that a zygote isn't a person until it's born. Am I correct in that? I don't think so. Well, I well I heard that somewhere, so we'll skip well, that. Well, heartbeat, heartbeat to begin with. Let me just say something quickly. Heartbeat is not a, a, uh, a uh, watermark of whether somebody is alive or not. Isn't ask that? any ask them in hospitals when you're brain dead you're brain dead so if your brain hasn't fully developed you're not ready okay well, you're not well, ripe what well, i was going with was the fact that the catholic church does not give last rites to a fetus that is uh i'm looking for the term here somebody help me my, my mind is frozen that does not give uh, uh, last rites to a natural abortion, mm -hmm. like a miscarriage. A miscarriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. The, and, and the great thing about the people on the right, they care about a baby until it's born. And then they, say, <laughs> and then they don't care. Then they don't care. Yeah. They don't give a damn. Don't want to because these, these women who have to keep those children rather than abort them, I don't see them going out there and suddenly saying, oh, we'll help you support that child. No, mm -hmm. you know. yeah. Adoption, because there's lots of families that want children. Hey, I fell into that category, me and Donna, <clears throat> when but, I was 45, mm -hmm. and she was, let's see, she 22. was about 40. And, you know, and we told a big, big adoption center here in the Dallas area, we'll take anything that's walking, talking, or breathing. We wanted an older child. We, want, we would take a biracial child. We would take a child with uh, uh, disabilities. And you know what we were told? Because of my diabetes and my age, we were told that I was too old to be a father at 45. I gotta go get ready for you. Yeah, okay. Wow. And don't forget the governor of Jack's great state is gonna root out all the rapists, so we won't have to worry about rapists anymore. Oh yeah, he's gonna root out the rapists, right. He's building yeah. a wall. Yeah, he's building a wall <laughs> building to a prevent wall. rapists. So you know, you know, Bill has a point on, on not about abortion, but in California, and I'm sure across the country, if the baby, it, 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 in the woman has a heartbeat and you were to kill the woman and kill the baby it counts as murdering two people right mm -hmm. anyway hey listen there's there, there there's the theme uh thank you so much for getting me through this uh, matt thank you so much please call again sure. you're very good charlene too and charlene thank you, thank you so much you added to it uh, immensely <laughs> Thanks to Phil, of course, for saving my ass, and Alan for saving my ass for about a half hour. And to the rest of you who didn't call, fuck you. I mean, you know, that's a, what, what else can I say? You know, I mean, I go, I go away for uh, two and a half weeks, not because I wasn't ill and, and in the hospital and looking like my face had been turned into rotten hamburger, uh, but, uh, you know. I, 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 and then I come back and I thought, oh, there'll be a ton of people wanting to say, welcome back, Alex. Yeah, I thought there was going to be dozens of people on here. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> me too. Everybody, all you guys, uh, thank you so much, Phil and Alan and hey. Matt and, uh, and Charlene. And uh, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye, too, at you. And uh, say, uh, see you later. Bye. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I gotta let me see here. Let me end the uh, uh, the uh, 
zoom because that's what kind of causes me to go out of sync. And now you see I'm slowly going to go back into sync. There we are. See? What's, isn't that amazing? It's all pure magic. Anyway, listen, Jack is next with the intersection. Call him, okay? I don't want him to be alone either. I know what it's like to be alone now. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night probably. And hopefully if people are calling, I'll stay around for the full hour. And we'll have to figure out what we're going to do next week because I'm still a little feeling a little on the weakish side. side. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station, same place on Earth. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please, get vaccinated, wear a mask, be a decent citizen. Talk to you later. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.